all of the fine things that we learned. Today I discuss about the calculus topic, coordinate geometry. According to the public, this topic is given the weight is 12 mass. This 12 mass is divides the term of mass questions, 1 mass questions, 2 mass questions, 4 mass questions. 1 mass questions, are, half mass questions are given 2. So to ask 1 mark. 1 mark questions are given 1, 1 more mark. So one mark, two marks questions are given only one question. So two marks are two marks. So four marks are two questions are given two. So two fours are eight marks. Totally twelve marks of eight is according to this calculus of the coordinates. S. Come to the point. This coordinate geometry is a new branch of mathematics. This one is developed by Rene Descartes. Rene. Descartes. He was French mathematician and philosopher. So, this is a good name. Is there? This is a father of modern geometry. Father of modern geometry. Students already know that father of the geometry is Euclid. The father of modern geometry is Rene Descartes. So, come to the point. Coordinate geometry, another name, analytical geometry. Analytical geometry. One more name is there. Cartesian geometry. Cartesian geometry. Students, first you remember the previous noise. Define the point anybody in the classroom? Actually, no exact definition of the point. Gen generally, how to define the point? You take it the one shot. Just your attention on plane. It's formed one dot. The dot is called a point. But how can the point is location on the plane? First, I do one experiment on the table. See the table. Some objects are there. See, some objects are there in the table. You are identification any one object in this one. For example, I selected that uh, this object. How do you location this object? To? So, first to uh, Divides the some rows and some columns. So this which one object we have selected, that object is easily identification. Which one row is there and which one column is coincide. So that's why you immediately you are fixing the location of the object. That means the same thing apply this point. On the plane you apply the point, you need two references for fix describe of the point x and y of the location. In the x and y is called, the x is called first coordinate. First coordinate. And y is a second coordinate. Okay, first coordinate is another name is there that is abyssisa. A B S I S C I S S A abyssisa. The second coordinate name is there coordinate. Friends, this one each and every point's location on the plane definitely you need to reference. Is no? So how to reference that to long? Which one line is a parallel to earth? That line is called a origin. That line is called a origin. Which one line is a parallel to on the earth? That line is called x-axis. X-axis. Which one line is a vertical of the earth? That line is called a y-axis. These two lines 
shall intersect one point, that point is called a R Z. So R Z is represented by O. That's R Z is zero zero. So please see. This axis device is plane, totally plane, four coordinates. This one is a first coordinate, Q1. This one is a second coordinate, Q2. This one coordinate is a Q3. This one is a Q4. In the axis device, the term in the right hand side is cosmos identification and left hand side identification in AQ values. And y axis is upside down. And downside is your identification rate. That means here 1, 2, 3, 4. And left hand side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And upside 1, 2, 3, 4. And downside minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Friends, you have selected any point in this region. Suppose I have selected one point in the first coordinate, that is a P. What the position of X and Y? And second coordinate selected another point Q, that is a X and Y. This is another point I selected R, X and Y. This is a selected one, another point S, X and Y. What the position, what the nature? Please see coordinates, X coordinate. And y coordinate here point. Please observe. So coordinate one. What is the this one? See, observe. This is the x-axis references. The x-axis is a positive values. So that means x is greater than zero. This is a y-axis. Y-axis is equal to greater than zero. So x is greater than zero. That means x value is a have taken the positive. Yeah. Y is greater than zero. That will have taken the negative value. So you write the position, point position plus plus. This one is a finish. Next one. Second coordinate. You have selected that point two. What is this x, y? So, x is less than 0. Why? Because in the left hand side of the x axis. So, that's one. You are in inflation, negative values. So, x is less than 0. That means uh, minus. x is uh, y is less than greater than 0. That is then plus. So, the point position minus plus. Next one, q3. Like this, same. X is less than 0, Y is less than 0. So this is a NATO, NATO. The point position, NATO, NATO. Q4. X is greater than 0, cos 2. Y is less than 0. That is NATO, cos 2. Friends, be careful here. One point is very, very important. You draw the one line on the the line is plain reverse the three regions. One is an R1 region, another one is an R2 region, and on R3 region. So one line reverse the plane three region. One is R1, R2, and R3. So here are no common points of the R1 and R2 region. So finally, R1 intersection R2 equal to 5. The same thing operated here. Q1 intersection Q2 is equal to 5. Q2 intersection Q3 is equal to 5. Q3 intersection Q4 is equal to 5. Q4 intersection Q1 is equal to 5. So here one more case is there. That is uh, the equation of x-axis. E y is zero. The equation of y axis x is zero. Once again, remember that the equation of x axis y is zero. The equation of x axis x y is equal to zero. 
the equation of y axis x is equal to zero. Are you understand? Equation of x axis y is equal to zero. Equation of y axis x is x is equal to zero. Y means x is equal to zero. X means y is equal to zero. Now, now this is very very important. You are selected two points on the plane. Suppose a x one y one b x two y two. You find out the distance between distance between a and b. A and b. A b is equal to root of x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. This is a distance between the two points. That's a b is equal to root of x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. That one not improving, but you have to that the topic is not there. Just only given that the formula. What's the formula? Distance between any two points on the plane. So that's why simply you represent the a b is equal to root of x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square only. How to prove that, sir? See. Immediately after the cart cart is a geometry. How? See this one. You draw this x-axis and y-axis. This is the x, x dash, y, y dash. Now I selected the first coordinate, q1. So on this q1 coordinate, I selected again two points. One is a A that is a x one y one. Another point B that is a x two y two. Friends, one remember that the two points are not parallel to axis. A is not parallel to x axis and y axis. B is not parallel to x axis and y axis. So the two points are joined. It forms one of the line segment. Now we find out the distance of the two points AB. How do you find out the distance of the AB? C. Here, first you draw the one perpendicular line from A to on x-axis. So that line intersects x-axis at a point. That point is M. The same thing you apply this side. Let me draw the another perpendicular line. That line is intersect x-axis from point. That point is called M. And uh, like this, you draw this one also. This is at the center B line at C. Friends, please observation is that A B C is a right angle triangle. Wow! Immediately strike out in your mind one of the theorem. What the theorem? Pythagoras theorem. What do you know the Pythagoras theorem? Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square simply less one. In a right angle triangle, square of hypotenuse equal to square of sum of two other sides. That's why simply you write C Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Here what the triangle name? A C A B C. Here angle C is equal to 90 degrees. So the 90 opposite side is curved. Hypotenuse. What the name? AB. So AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. AC square plus BC square. Which one you find out? Length of the AB. What the meaning of length of the AB? That's the distance between the two points. So please, friends. Now, first you find out this distance. What the distance? Yeah, the distance you find out. How to find out the amount of distance? Please, this distance from the x y axis. That's what distance is a x two. This is the distance x one. What about the amount of distance? X two minus x one. X two minus This distance equal to this x two minus x. Are you understand? 
the same complex is here. What is distance this one? Y1. What is distance this one? BM distance Y2. I want BC distance. Why? We are talking about BC square. You will find out that we N distance. How? Y2 minus Y1. Friends, are you writing the distance of AC and distance of BC? This distance is equal to X2 minus X1. This distance is equal to Y2 minus Y1. That's why it's the substitution this one. So, X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. So, A B A B whole square is equal to X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. Square that side. A B is equal to root of X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. This is the distance between the two points on the plane. So, root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. In the particular case, the distance from the origin of any point x comma y is, friends, please see, distance from the origin of the point x comma y. Here I use the one word that is origin. Origin is represented by O that is always 0, 0. What is the distance between these two? E is root of directly like this one, x square plus y square. Given the any two points of the distance, root of x2, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. But one point is origin and another point is given. How do you find out that uh, distance OA is equal to root of x square plus y square? Come to that term. Uh, Please, friends, here one general knowledge is there. Who was first to use the root? Rene Escort was used in that root. So, please come to the point. Please answer the question, students. This A, 2 comma 4. B, 2 comma 5. Friends, please answer the question, this one. 2. 2 is the first coordinate and A. In the 2 is the first coordinate in B point. These two are the same. That means you draw the line. The line is parallel to Y axis. X is same. X coordinate is same. That point you draw in the form of the line segment. That line segment is parallel to Y axis. But how do you find out the distance that work? So A, B. A, B is that is equal to mod. Mod. So 4 minus 5. 4 minus 5. That means mod. 4 minus 5 means minus 1. That is equal to distance always. We use the real numbers only. Minus 1 change the term. Plus 1. That is equal to plus 1 units. So come to 5. A, X and Y1. B, X and Y2. Please observation clearly. Here, X coordinate and the X coordinate both are the same. That means the points joining is from the line segment is parallel to Y axis. Directly find out the distance AB is equal to the mod y2 minus y1. Or understand? Same is concept of the vector. One more. A is equal to x1 y. B is equal to x2 y. What the difference in this and this? Please observation. In this case, x coordinate have the same. But in this case, y coordinates same. x coordinates same, that is a parallel to y axis. x coordinates same, that is parallel to y axis. Here, y coordinates same, that is parallel to x axis. So, the distance AB is equal to mod of x2 minus x1. Understand? Totally, I took that to four formulas. The first part of the distance between Two parts root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. 
The second formula, the distance from the origin to the point, root of x square plus x square. Next, if in case first coordinate the same, there is a parallel to y axis, the distance mod y2 minus y1. Suppose the two points are parallel to x axis, so the distance a is equal to mod y2 x2 minus x1. All understand? So come to the point. I use the four sums. Friends, see, sum 1, question number 1. If A is equal to 2 comma 4, B is equal to minus 7 comma 8, find the distance of AB. Shortcut you write AB. AB means distance of the two points. How do you find the distance of the AB? Or you know the formula. First you know even the points A. 2 comma 4 B minus 7 comma 8. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. What the distance formula? A B is equal to root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So root of minus 7, x2 value is equal to minus 7. x1 value is equal to 2. So minus 2 whole square. Y2 value 8. Minus y1 value 4 whole square. So minus 7 minus 2, minus 9 whole square. 28 minus 4, 4 whole square. This is a 81 plus 16 is equal to root minus units. So the distance between the two points are understand. Suppose another sum. Suppose so find the distance between from the origin 0, 0 and given the point A 3, 4. How do you find the distance OA? Directly find the root of 3 square plus 4 square. Root of 9 plus 16. Root of 25. Root 25 means 5 into 5. That is equal to 5 units. Are understand? So, in a tenthless mass test, the distance formula is over. Next one, midpoint. How do you find out the midpoint? So, <coughs> midpoint of the Line sequence drawing A, x1, y1, B, x2, y2. Suppose I draw the line sequence. This line sequence point uh, x1, y1. This line sequence point, ending point x2, y2. I want midpoint of this. Already have a distance. Distance and midpoint both are entirely different. But how do you find out the this? So I do one proof. First, your observation is true. Come, Cartesian geometry. X dash, X, Y, Y dash. Definitely the two axes are intersect one point. That point is the origin. You have to question some numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You are selecting any points on x axis. Please, you are selecting any point on x axis. Now, I selected first point. This point name A. How do you write it? This is depends on x axis. Y axis is not there. That place you write the term 1 comma 0. You are selected this point. B. B is selected. B is on x axis. But how do you write the point 3 comma 0? 
Which one you want? Midpoint of AB you want. How? See, you are add an average of these two x. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 by 2. 2. You get the midpoint. This is P to comma 0. What do you understand? Sum of, sum of x coordinates. So by 2 and 1 plus 3, 4, 4 by 2, 2. The same rule, see, apply that y axis. You are selected here a point, that point C. C is depends on the y. That means x is 0. How to find that point? 0, 2. Right? So, plus set can be set. 4. D, 0, 4. I want to point out these two points C and D. How? Average of y axis. Average of y axis. That means this y coordinate and this y coordinate added by 2. 4 plus 2. 6. 6 by 2, 3. So we get the third, this one in white. So finally, how do you find out the midpoint in this experiment? Simply, midpoint of AB equal to, please observation. What I am saying here, average of x coordinate. So here x coordinate means x1, x2. Yeah, that one you write in the sum of x coordinates by 2, comma, sum of y coordinates by 2. That's one write in the simple form. x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2. This is the midpoint of A. Are you understand? This is the midpoint of A. What is the formula? Sum of the x coordinates by 2. The sum of the y coordinates. That's one write in the simple form. x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. I do the one I sum. Come. Suppose this point 2 comma 3. This point uh, minus 3 comma. How do you find out the midpoint is friends? Midpoint of A B. Simply write the A B means distance. But you write the midpoint of A B. Here you write code. One word is used. Midpoint. Distance is the formula rule of x to max, x1 goes to x1 to max by one. How square? It's enough. But this is the new topic that is a big point. Big point for the sum of the x coordinate. Here x coordinate this is x1, this is x2. So 2 plus minus 3, but 2. Sum of the y coordinates. So 3 plus 5, but 2. Very 2 plus 2 minus, minus 3, but 2. 3 plus 5, but 2. So this is a minus 1 by 2, this is a 8 by 2, this is a 3 cancel, minus 1 by 2, 4. This is a 3 point. So now I have the two main formulas. One is a distance formula and another one is a very fine formula. Okay, come, next topic. Very important and very interesting and very very easy one. But uh, first you concentration of the Cartesian frame session formula session formula friends you take the point segment this one A x1 y1 B x2 y2 you have selected one point internally of the slide segment that is point P x comma y. That point is divided by line segments two ratios. That is the L1 and the M2 ratios. I want that is P 
which one point is derives the line segment that point x i want how p of x comma y is equal to m2 x1 plus m1 x2 by m1 plus m2 m2 y2 plus m1 y1 by m2 plus m1 but one more thing in this case m1 not equal to 0 m2 not equal to 0 m1 plus m2 not equal to 0 this is very very important but you are test this directly given this formula p of x comma y is equal to m2 x1 plus m1 x2 by m plus m2 how do you prove it as well now i do this one please listen thanks See this Cartesian geometry. Wonderful this geometry. Very excellent. Over concentration of this geometry definitely that's very simple. You are selected two points on the first coordinate. So here the one point. A that is it, x1, y1. B x2. Join its form one line segment. One line segment. You take it that uh, one P P X one one X comma one. So this is given that the ratio is comma and that. So how do you prove it as well? Please see. You join perpendicular of one X Y X axis that is equal to L. You draw the another perpendicular line that is equal to m. Yeah. You draw the another perpendicular line on the x-axis here. Yeah. So a m is the perpendicular of the x-axis. P m is the perpendicular of the x-axis. B m is the perpendicular of the x-axis. Now you join this one. This is intersect this line. Yes, this one intersect this line. Ah. I want to discuss first this one. Yes, already learned this. How? See, friends, this total distance. Here, distance is x1. This distance is x2. This distance is a x3. That means, that means this origin. OM distance is equal to x1. OM distance is equal to x2. OM distance is equal to x3. How do you distance this one? Ln x2 minus 1. This is x, this is a x2. So x minus x1. This distance x2 minus x. So this distance equal to this. So x minus x1. This distance equal to this x2 minus x. Now in this diagram, two right angle triangles are there. Two right angle triangles are there. One triangle name A, P, yes, and another triangle name B, P, R. The two triangles are similarly. Immediately after the similarly last, what is A, P by A, P by P, B? See the diagram. A, P by P, B. And uh, A, S yes, by P, R. So, what is that AP value? M. And BP value? M. So, M1 by M2 is equal to this is X minus X1 by this is X2 minus X. So, cross multiplication you have like that. M1 of X2 minus X is equal to M2 of X minus X1. Multiplication of this m1 x2 minus m1 x m2 of x minus m2 of x1. Which one comes on negative sense is there that comes on trans transformation of other side. This is negative sense come this way. This is negative sense come that way. So, so m1 x2 this is a minus plus m2 x1 equal to m2 
yes plus m1 x friends in the right hand side which one is common is the x is common in the first case your x is removed what about the remaining here m2 in the x is removed so here m1 x2 plus m2 x1 this is a multiplication of x this is the Right. So finally x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m2 plus m1. This is the first coordinate in the P. What is the second coordinate? Similarly sign like this y is equal to m y2 plus m2 y1 by m2 plus m1. I understand? So one line segments. P is divided internally. In the given ratio, m1 is to m2 ratio. How do you find out that the p coordinates? That's formula p of x comma y is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m2 plus m1. And y coordinate is equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m2 plus Okay, so do you understand this one? This one formula? The P is internal. Suppose the P is divided by externally. Just a small change. Only the change the sign. How? Suppose externally is given. Simply logic. This plus plus you write that minus. Only see this one. Externally, P x comma y. Externally, I want. So the coordinate, x coordinate, m one, I am two x one minus m one x two by m two minus m one comma m two y one minus m one y two by m two minus m one. This is the. How do I understand, friends? This one practice more sums you have to do. Please practice to get that more knowledge.